Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So I've been seeing these glass plaques floating around on the internet and people have been questioning about how are they made. So here we are. Today I'll show you how to make your own glass plaque. Make sure you check the description box for all the supplies you'll need. Alright guys, to begin the tutorial, you're going to go to your favorite music streaming app and take a screenshot. I'm using Apple Music and the plaques that I've seen floating around on the internet um, are basically like the screenshot of their favorite artist or whatever. And they put a link to the music. But for the purpose of this tutorial and to avoid any kind of trouble legally, I'm doing my own little version of this. So I'm not using the music and or cover art of any song. Okay, so I took a screenshot and I cropped it. And I'm just going to go to Cricut Design Space on my phone. And I'm just going to clean this image up. And basically to clean the image up, I'm just going to select the wand tool and erase the background. And then I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and erase um, the part around the play button as well. Then over here in this top right corner is like our preview screen. This is basically show you what it look like when you're ready to cut and that's what you want. So we'll just go ahead and save the uh, save the file. Okay, now for the second part of this tutorial, I went to YouTube and I copied the URL link to the song I wanted and I just went to um, this QR code generator, pasted the URL, hit enter, and then I'm just going to download the QR code that is made for me to my computer. So since my plaque is like themed around my wedding, the song that I'm using, well, the song that I'm creating is QR code for is the song that I actually walked down the aisle to. Alright you guys, so now that I have my QR code made and saved, I'm just going to go ahead and upload it to Cricut Design Space and I'm going, I'm uploading the J, um, no, I'm uploading the PNG so that'll automatically make the file a print and cut, which is what we want. I'm just going to go ahead and select all the images I want to use for this project. Now that I have all my images loading, of course my wedding photo is too large, so I'm just going to size it down to the um, print and cut measurements, which is like 6.75 by 9.25, I believe. And then I'm just going to grab a square from the shapes, and we're going to use that as a template, basically, to kind of see what um, our plaque will look like, okay? And the size frame I'm using is 8 by 10. So my wedding picture is way too big for this project, so I'm just going to go ahead and um, take a, sh a square shape and just start slicing it down to make it smaller. Okay, 
okay now that i have the size i want i'm just going to go ahead and start arranging all my images onto my little template to see how everything will look everything i'm going to go over here to the right panel and hide the image in my circle and i'm going to attach the words and the um screenshot because i want all that to cut out together and then i'm just going to go ahead and hit make it and make our project So I cut my stuff um, using holographic vinyl and since the words and things are so small I'm going to go ahead and reverse weed. So basically I'm just going to lay my transfer film on top of the vinyl and I'm going to pull the vinyl off the back of the transfer film and this will uh, let the like the small letters stick to the transfer film and I won't lose them. Well to make it easier to not lose the tiny pieces. I have my vinyl weeded I'll just go ahead and cut this picture and my QR code out off of my sticker paper that I'll be using for the project Now that we have all the pieces we need I'm just going to go ahead and stick my sticker paper onto my glass frame and then add my vinyl and then I'll add the QR code and that's basically it for this project you guys I really like the way that holographic vinyl looks um yeah and that's it it's actually pretty simple and I think this would be great this would actually be like a great wedding gift or great for baby showers like when somebody has the baby if they record it you could like um put the qr code of the baby first crying you know with the, the first picture and things like that but as always thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe